I've been using Mem for about five days now, and I want to talk about what makes it different than a lot of the other note-taking tools that are out there. So as a blogger, one of the things that I do is I write a thousand words every single day through a process called free writing that I learned from a blogger named Julian Smith, who ended up writing a lot of best-selling books and had one of the most popular blogs on the internet. And that doesn't end up going into my editorial calendar because I end up writing about different subjects every day. So for example, I might write about one topic on Monday, another topic on Tuesday, and then write about the same topic again again on Friday. And then I end up putting a lot of that content back together in blog posts, ebooks, and that kind of stuff. Now, when you're working on a tool like Notion or Evernote, you actually have to go back into the various entries that you have. So I would have to go back to each free writing entry and figure out where that content lives which can be a real hassle because sometimes you don't remember where you wrote it down. You might have wrote it down in a different app. And the nice thing about Mem is that it basically automates the entire process of structuring and organizing information through a process called bidirectional linking, which is something that you also see in a tool like Rome. And for example, here you'll see that I have a tag called free writing. And if I open up the anything that's tagged free writing, it'll show up with every single thing. So in addition, if I let's say write about attention management on one day, you can see here I'm writing about a bunch of stuff about personal knowledge management. Or if I write about personal knowledge management, if I tag something with that tag, then all I have to do is search for that subject and it'll bring up every single reference that I've made to that particular topic. So rather than having to dig back into all these different notes, I can actually see everything. So they have two different views. One is the timeline view, which just shows you everything on a day-to-day -day basis. And then the other, as the list view. But where this becomes really useful in terms of knowledge management is when you want to do something like build a second brain, which is a methodology that comes from Tiago Forte, and it's for organizing book notes, the things that you capture, insights, everything else. And he uses a structure that you might be familiar with if uh, you're familiar with his work called PARA, which stands for Projects, Areas of Responsibility, Resources, and Archives. Now, when you do that in other tools, you actually have to set up different pages. It can be a real struggle. And so let me show you the difference between what that looks like inside of Notion and inside of Mem. So inside of Notion, if you go to my Notion, you can see here that we have different projects, different areas of responsibility. And the thing is that you have to drill down and you have to set up relational databases. Even for projects, you can set up project and task relational databases, but that ends up becoming a big hassle. Now, let me show you the difference inside of Mem. So when we look at using that para structure inside of Mem, what's different is that all you have to do is tag something a project, and then you can pull up all your various projects just by doing that, just by going to search. You can see here that it not only shows you a timeline view, you can see all the various tasks related to the project. And anything you link to that project will also be something that will come up when you search. So you can see here that I have these sort of different links to different things. So basically what ends up happening is that you're automating the entire idea of organizing and structuring information as opposed to having to constantly maintain and manage your structure through folders and the traditional hierarchies that people use to organize information. So there's a lot of things that are very similar to Rome here, but I think the user interface is a lot cleaner. The other thing that I love about this is that they have your tasks right there. So you can actually go and see for every mem that you create. So I create a mem for different projects. They're all right here. The other thing that is really neat is that you can actually manage an editorial calendar for a blog inside of here. So I actually decided you know, to put my blog under areas of responsibility. So I have an editorial calendar and you can actually, you go here and you can see here, if I search for the tag editorial calendar, every single thing that is in my editorial calendar shows up and I can actually give it a tag. So for example, here I have a first draft. So anything that would be considered a first draft actually shows up and you can actually look at it in a list view as well. And so rather than constantly having to manage how you organize all this stuff, Mem automatically organizes it for you, which makes it way easier to pull up resources. So in my resources section, another thing I have is book notes. And so I put my book notes inside of Mem and now I can actually see every single book note I have and the various topics. Again, I can go to the list view and you can see here, I know exactly what topic it is when the thing was put in. And so by using tagging, you can do a lot of different things here. So I tagged this you know, with Cal Newport. And if I search for Cal Newport, every single thing that's tagged Cal Newport will show up. So you can see I have two of his book notes here. Finally, I think my favorite thing that I've noticed with Mem is something they call Mem Spotlight. 
And so let's say that I am inside of another app or tool like Notion, where I actually end up doing a lot of writing because that's where our team actually manages most of our projects. And I wanted to pull content from one of these book notes. All I have to do is go back into Notion and use Mem Spotlight. And if I just press Command Shift Space Bar, uh, it'll bring up Mem Spotlight. And if I just search for the term, the words underlying, you can see right here that if I just press enter, it'll automatically pop it right into Notion or any other app that I'm using. So the ability to use Mem Spotlight and call up references and resources whenever you need them is really valuable, I think, just because then you're not having to constantly task shift from one app to another, and you can incorporate passages from books you've read and other stuff. So I think that this is one of the you know, neater and newer manage knowledge management tools that I've seen as far as personal knowledge management goes. So the thing that I think that is missing right now from Mem is uh, that you can't import stuff automatically, which is something that a lot of the other tools like Readwise and Notion have, where you can actually export your book notes from something like Readwise directly into Notion or Rome. And it's something that they're actually working on building. They told me from the support team that it's a feature that's been requested a lot. It's definitely a much more efficient way of working, even though it takes a little bit of getting used to because we're so used to organizing things in files and folders and that kind of stuff. But this way of, of working actually makes everything super simple. The other thing that's really cool is that you can actually have templates inside of Mem just like you can with many other tools. So for example, I have a book notes template. And if I go to the template and you can see here that it has all the things that I would want in a particular template. So if I wanted to create a book note, I can just use the book notes template. And you can see here, it gives me the option to create my book notes from a template. But if you haven't checked this out, I think it's really uh, a big leap. I'll be recording a few more videos in a lot more detail about how to do some of this stuff inside of Mem.